What's going on? It's William with Man Meets Money, and today we're going to get into a very, very important topic. Now, I can certainly understand that this is a very high expectation for me to have, but I am hoping that most of you took your time filing your taxes. Because with all of the talk of refund delays, I can certainly tell you that taking your time this year and filing your taxes is likely the most crucial step for you to take. Now with that being said, we're gonna get straight into the meat of today's video. We're gonna go over in detail all of the common mistakes that people make when filing so you know what not to do so that you don't have to bear the burden of any delays that you may have been able to avoid. Now, oddly enough, while you don't want to file your taxes late, the IRS actually would caution you against filing your taxes too early. The primary issue with filing your taxes too early is simply that you may not have gotten all of your tax forms yet. Now, I know that most people are just used to getting their W-2, filing the 1040 easy, and calling it a day. Things that you want to keep in mind are things like, one, if you have any investment accounts that earn interest that is taxable, if you're a homeowner looking out for your year-end 1098 from your mortgage company. So again, just make sure that you're taking your time and that you've actually received all of your tax forms before you file. Additionally, what may actually come as a surprise, but the IRS actually reports that some people have sent in their tax returns with a missing or incorrect social security number. No need to rewind, I'll repeat it, missing social security number. And to add to that, one of the other most common mistakes people make is misspelled names. So one of the dope things is that the IRS actually has a very clear remedy for avoiding name spelling errors. You ready? get your information off of your social security card. If you've had a delay year after year for your tax refund and they're always telling you it's because your name is misspelled, you're looking at your driver's license, you're looking at your birth certificate, you of course know how to spell your name. It's because it may be spelled differently on your social security card. And of course, the name spelling on your social security card is gonna be the name spelling that the IRS has in their information database. Now, one other thing you're gonna wanna be very cautious of and this is actually the main thing because this is in part what dictates how much money you're going to get for your tax refund all of the dollars and cents need to be entered 100 correctly and of course that's going to cover your wages bank interest dividends and any other forms of income that are valid and need to be reported now the next thing on the mistakes to avoid list is actually kind of interesting because in part, by just doing this, you're gonna end up with a delay, but by doing it correctly, you can avoid further delays. And that's to make sure that your deductions and the credits that you're claiming are 100% on spec. The next bit goes without saying, but I'm gonna mention it anyways, just for the sake of accountability. Avoid disreputable tax preparers. I'm gonna say that one more time. Avoid disreputable tax preparers. The IRS still holds you responsible for all of the information that's entered on your tax returns. And with that being said, the next bit's actually really short. Just making sure that all of your forms are signed. Please, please, please don't send anything that has not been signed. But if you're going in and filing your taxes in person, that's just something that you really want to be cautious of. And the last bit is the biggest piece of it all, people. Make sure that your bank account information is entered 100% on the money. If it's not 100% on the money, then you're likely not gonna get your money in a timely fashion. Please, the biggest part, after you've made sure that everything is right, check your routing number, your checking account number, or savings account or investment account, wherever you're getting your money deposited, because obviously, if the IRS can't get you your money, you're not gonna get it as fast as you'd like to have it, or better yet, as fast as you could have had it. Now, I know we just covered a lot of ground, and I thank you for sticking along this far in the video. I wanna go ahead and let you know that I got your back. After you file your tax returns, and then you end up going back and looking over your submission, and you find some errors that you may have made, and I'm actually gonna link this down in the description section, and I'm gonna pin a comment. You can file a 1040X, and that's gonna be your tax amendment form. If you find the mistake potentially before the IRS does, while you'll still experience a delay, it won't be as monumental of a delay, and that's also a big deal. 
So let's go ahead and hit it with a recap. Avoid filing too early. Make sure you have all of your tax forms on hand before you do. Once you have all of your tax forms, you can run strict to filing and get it knocked out. And the next thing we went over was actually a cornucopia of a topic, and that was inaccurate information. We're talking about the spelling of your name. We're talking about your social security number being entered accurately. We're talking about all of the dollars and cents being where they need to be. And of course, make sure that your filing status is proper as well. Not sure if I mentioned filing status, but make sure you have the correct filing status. One other thing that we covered, making sure that you are going to a reputable tax preparer. Per the IRS, you are responsible for all information entered on your tax returns. So make sure that you go to a reputable tax preparer if you're not going to be e-filing on your own. And the biggest part of the topic, once again, was after you make sure that everything is entered correctly, every form is signed, that is to make sure that your bank routing number and your bank account number are entered the right way, not even a digit off. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. I would love to have you in attendance for future videos. If you feel like this video may help a friend, please consider sharing it. And in conclusion, it's been another episode of Man Meets Money. I'm William. Love y'all. See you real soon.